But she fired because she's white. A racially charged comment on a Facebook page cost a local Emmy Award winning news anchor in Pittsburgh her job. And now the anchor, Wendy Bell, has filed a federal lawsuit saying that she was only fired because she's white. Pro-Trump news network Newsmax had for some time seemingly been leaning away from Trump right-wing conspiracy theories to become a more legitimate conservative network. But after revelations of two new hires with quite shady pasts, it looks like you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Newsmax has hired two former local news stars who both lost their previous jobs in the wake of scandal, ranging from embezzling millions of dollars to claims that being white caused one to lose her job. Let's get into it. We'll start with Bianca De La Garza. At one time, De La Garza was a fairly popular media figure in the New England area. In 2007, she was a morning anchor and noon host for Boston's ABC affiliate. But after a short while, she branched off and started her own production company that ran a show with her as the star and host. What was unknown then was the fact that this production company was fully funded by embezzled funds. Basically, she became close with a CEO of a shoe company who used that company's money to funnel into De La Garza's company. And the two deny any romantic connection, but in addition to money for her show, the CEO bought her lavish gifts, a Mercedes, and multiple expensive vacations. And what's odd is Newsmax never actually publicly acknowledged that she was being hired. She's not currently under a contract there, which suggests that she's trying out the network in a freelance capacity. They did, however, throw down the MAGA red carpet for the second second hire, Wendy Bell. Hey everybody, hello Newsmax, I'm so excited. I'm Wendy Bell, I'm a mom, I have five sons, I live in the same realville that you guys do, and I care about the same stuff that you care about, the stuff that we're not hearing about on TV enough, the stuff our lawmakers aren't fighting for enough. On Common Sense with Wendy Bell, we will. Wendy Bell has a history of racism so long and consistent that it's almost hard to summarize all of it. She was fired after 20 years at her local station, only to be scooped up hungrily by Newsmax. So she was fired because after there was a deadly mass shooting at a barbecue in Philadelphia, she remarked on air that they didn't need a professional sketch of the killers because they were certainly, quote, young black men. She was fired for this, but in retaliation, sued the company for racial discrimination, saying that she wouldn't have been fired if she were black. If you were black, Miss Bell, you probably also wouldn't have said the horribly racist thing you did on air. She also advocated for park rangers to shoot protesters attempting to pull down controversial monuments, saying, quote, my easy solution for the park rangers and hopefully snipers who are hopefully going to be watching for this is to shoot on sight. Shoot done. What's crucial to keep an eye on now is Newsmax attempting to continue to build any sort of legitimacy. With these two hires, they obviously are going for the same crowds they used to, but it seems like this time they want to infiltrate the mainstream media even more. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.